Really excited to surprise the Callahan family. They've lived in their home in Maplewood, New Jersey for 24 years. I'm Harleen Callahan. I'm Dan Callahan. We dated six months and then got engaged. He tells me how much he loves me every day. And I get flowers <laughs> every two weeks. <laughs> when you're into the 15 and 20 and 30 years of a marriage, it's those things that still keep it going. Dan and Harleen have three children, Andrew, Daniel, and Julia. Unfortunately, for 23 years, Julia has suffered from unpredictable seizures that have dramatically affected her cognitive and physical development. So around the age of three, Julia started with seizures. Initially, we were told it was childhood epilepsy, she should outgrow it. Let's change the medication that she had been on. We changed the medication, it wasn't working. Uh, her muscle tone, her speech went, you know, we were becoming aware that uh, Julia was not going to get better. Chapter five. Six. That's my girl. When we accepted that reality, things got better, actually, because we focused on how do we care for her daily and what can we do for her that is the best for Julia, you know, today. Like, it's definitely tough knowing that you can't help someone, especially your sister, like you love them, you're their family. It breaks your heart, but Julia's happy. You want that on? I do. To be a caregiver our whole lives, it just gives you a better outlook on life in general. You don't take things for granted. You kind of cherish the, the little things. Our boys are great. Yeah. You know what, it's, it's hard. Know, they work with her, they have stayed home when we've asked them to babysit for her. We definitely rely on one another to help out with Julia. Like I purposely scheduled later classes in the morning just so you know I could be up early to help my parents with Julia. We're so proud of them. Seton Hall University has played a huge role in the Callahan family's lives. Dan has worked in the facilities department for 17 years and both his sons are proud Seton Hall students. Despite very busy schedules, the Callahans love gathering as a family. And the kitchen's where they spend most of their time together. So there's five of us, the, the kitchen is small. The kitchen definitely gets crowded. crowded. <laughs> Dan's at the, the stove, um, getting the dishes out. There's one drawer in the kitchen. We won't talk about the negative. <laughs> the Callahans have always made the most of their limited space, but the kitchen just never was a priority. I think they need a new kitchen that can truly serve as the heart of their loving home. It could just be opened up a little bit. I think it would help our family like tremendously just because it's the one time where like our whole family is together. Somebody outside? Hi, Harleen. Are you kidding? I, I, I understand that your kitchen can use a little love, but where's the time, right? Right. Well, it's time for you guys to actually have the kitchen in your dreams, all right? I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Julia, how are you? Yeah, My name's George. Hi. Say hi, George. Hi. Perfect, perfect. Are you going to give him a hug? Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Helping me rescue the Callahan family, we have George Rescue alum, designer Jules Duffy. And for the first time, general contractor Nick Navarino from Renaissance Building Company. Oh, yeah. Right? I, now I know why we're here. This is why we're here. <laughs> this kitchen has issues. The sink is an issue. The lack of counter space is an issue. There's no counter space. Uh, there's no dishwasher, which is definitely a sticking point. This kitchen just doesn't reflect who they are or what they need. And this is just a project that they've never been able to tackle. We don't have a lot to work with with space, but we're gonna make the space a lot nicer. Clear it out, start again. It's time for it to go. It's time for everything in the kitchen to go. The only way we are going to improve this kitchen is with a gut renovation. These here are the brackets that were holding up that sink. No, they're not supposed to look like this. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Blue Painters Tape. For more information, go to scotchblue.com.
Everyone's geared up, everyone's ready to get this rescue underway. Jules is going to lead the demo. She's going to take the first swing with the sledgehammer. Jules Duffy, begin this rescue. It's all you. Oh yeah, nice work, yeah! yeah. Oh, the wallpaper's coming off. It's not real brick, guys. Look at that, I just crushed a brick wall in my hands. Pulling out the oven. Oh my god, there's some toast in there. Somebody forgot that they were heating up their hot dog bun. It was you, Andrew, wasn't it? I'm a firm believer in uh, they don't build them like they used to. And uh, this is a true warrior as far as sinks go. It's also a dinosaur. It's time to send this sink out to pasture. Oh. Who's got two thumbs and needs a wrench? This guy. Yeah. That's the hole. That'll do it, baby. Okay, this where it gets gross. Bring in my stunt double. Has anyone seen him? It's not another coffee brick, is he? You got it? These here are the brackets that were holding up that sink. No, they're not supposed to look like this. They had all totally rusted out. Really, it was just a matter of time before that sink literally just fell out of the wall. Arrivederci. Tell you say goodbye in Italian. Wow. Open hey, space up a little bit. Yeah, man. Yeah. As I come up those stairs, what I notice is this is where like the darkest patch is right here. Something must be going on with that trap. I would check it. Oh, Did boy. you see that? <laughs> it's not actually even connected. Not even connected. So every time they shower, or sit in the bath, or whatever, yeah, the there's a little bit of a drip. Of that's gonna lead to rot, and that's why you have water spots here, that's why you have all these calcium deposits. We're looking at the new plumbing for the sink and the dishwasher in the kitchen. We shouldn't even be focused on what's above us, but thankfully, Nick and his team caught that. We're able to pull everything out, make the house a lot better than we found it. So let's just leave a note for the plumbers. So this thing's not going anywhere. The extreme post is just stick to any surface. So this kitchen was really tight. So in order to open the space up and bring in more natural light, my friends Brian and Dan over at Siegel Architects draw up some plans to take the wall between the kitchen and dining room from a small opening to a larger opening. We also added a bigger window over the kitchen sink for the same purpose. We've taken out the original window, put in a new window, but we're bumping it out so that we have both depth and light. Nice and strong, totally structural, not going anywhere. And let's just wait for it to rain a little bit harder. The weather has been very unpredictable. We've gone some cold snow, ice, now rain. Ice is coming back. If we don't get this whole thing closed up today, we're asking for trouble. The weather on this rescue is, it's biblical. It's crazy. It's windy, it's slippery. Wish us luck. Anything can happen. Slick hands. We up, 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 up. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Slick hands. We up? Up, 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 up. Communication is key. All right, all right. Got it. Yep. Put it in there. Yep. Put it in. Yep. Feeling good. Windows in. Teamwork. That's what makes it happen. Now that all the framing's done, it's time to do the rough-in, which means our plumbing and our electric. Cooper Electric brought all of our supplies so that our electrician, Frank Eller, can get after it. So while the project was going on, I started snooping around a little. I came upstairs, peeked in the rooms, and the boys' bedroom really needs some help. I was thinking the boys' room is so tired looking. They probably haven't touched it since they moved in. No, I'm and sure they haven't. wouldn't it be such a nice surprise for the boys? They're such great caregivers. They adore Julia. They're still living at home. We need to refinish the floors. We need to incorporate storage into the space. We need new beds, new bedding. They're definitely going to be surprised. We're just going to add a little more onto the plate. Hey, you know Not what? a big deal. I'm a, I'm a frosting guy. The more frosting on the cake, the better. So let's do it. Jules pulled a fast one on me, throwing this boys' room at us. But, uh, 
What's gotta be done has gotta be done, starting with the floors. The real challenge is gonna be down in the kitchen and the dining room, because in the dining room, we have old wood floors that have been in the house for who knows how long. And then in the kitchen, we had linoleum. All right, so I'm here with Eric from Exceptional Flooring Concepts. How do we weave the old with the new and make it look like it was always here? The objective is to keep the seams more than three inches apart, stagger them back and forth. So you save the groove where you can, so you can actually slide new boards in. When you sand it all together, it's like there never was a seam. Correct. Wow, what a difference. This place is looking Incredible. Great. This is Billy from Billy O Cabinetry. Oh, He's up, amazing. Man? Cabinet maker extraordinaire. Space in the boys' room is a real issue. So dryers, lumber, and hardware donated all the materials necessary for us to build custom built-ins to Billy O Cabinetry so that he could come in here and just work his magic. And for these amazing built-ins, because it's going to be a little bit darker on the back than it is going to be on the shelves, we're going to use the uh, scotch blue walls and wood floors so that we get those super sharp paint lines. Seton Hall has always played a big part in this family's lives, so I teamed up with the university to give them a slam dunk of a surprise. Go Pirates! Go Pirates! We have an awesome, awesome Seton Hall Thank experience you. you guys. You guys are all true blue Seton Hall Pirates. So we're going to recognize you guys here tonight at the game. And to top it all off, guys, we're not sitting in any of these seats. We got you, your very own suite up there. Oh my gosh, so, uh, come oh, on. Wow. Excited to spend so the night uh, cheering on the Pirates. Let's beat the Friars. That's, that's right, let's all go. Right, let's go, go Pirates! <laughs> We thank George for hooking us up with these tickets. The whole experience has been wonderful. We are very excited to get back home. See, you know, what has been done. You know, we, we have no idea. I think you guys are in good hands up here in the suite. You got the pirate, you got the game. I'm gonna head back to the house, keep on working, but uh, George, let's go Pirates. thank you, let's huh? go Pirates. Looking for more than your standard tape? Scotch Masking Tape is the right tool for the job. Scotch Masking Tape's versatile product line provides high adhesion on nearly all projects and surfaces. To learn more, go to 3M.com slash propainer. The rescue is a team sport, so it took a tandem to come up with the countertops for the Callahan's Kitchen. We got beautiful pieces from Arena Stone, which the guys at Workshop Stone did a phenomenal job fabricating. Now it's time to install. Whew. Like a glove, baby! Right here, come on, don't leave me hanging around, Will. Go. Carlos. So. My guys would have a lot more fun on the jobs if you were here all the time, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jules knocked it out of the park. She got all this tile from Tile Bar. It's just subtle enough. It brings in the color and warmth. It's awesome. I know this has nothing to do with tile. Uh, but, uh, that's the spot, baby. That's the spot. Yeah, yeah. This is life changer for the Callahan. Something they've never had. Mm -hmm. A dishwasher. Mm. Meal after meal after meal in that kitchen. Every dish washed by hand. No longer. All right, oh, got this hey. wood for you. Good timing. In the boys' bedroom, we got the amazing built-ins. And instead of buying headboards and having somebody else upholster them, Jules and I are building and upholstering the headboards. This fabric is from Avant Garde. It's a beautiful graphic. So we have our fabric, we have our foam, we have our board, some adhesive, and don't worry, I won't shoot you. The we staple have the gun. staple gun. So the first thing we need to do is adhere the foam to our board. Okay. We anchor in the middle, okay, and then we start to work our way out. It doesn't really matter what happens in the back. We just really are more concerned about pulling that fabric taut and making sure that it gives you a nice rounded edge in the foam. Here we go. <laughs> the moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, it looks That's great. That's a beautiful corner. That's beautiful. Honestly, if I hadn't been here from day one, I would not believe that this kitchen is the exact same square footage as the original kitchen. 
We increased the counter space by probably more than 60, 70%. Build.com was so generous, they donated the Messino sink, faucet, kitchen hardware, and the fan in the boys' bedroom. Cooking, prepping, serving, great workflow in this kitchen now. Right. Down. Get it down. This is beautiful. Where did this come from? Isn't this beautiful? It's a Jaipur rug. Design is modern and, and fresh, yet it still has a lot of warmth and the colors are really rich with the wallpaper. Part of what I wanted to do in the dining room was create some drama with color and the Philip Jeffries wallpaper does just that. It gives depth to the walls and also creates wonderful contrast with the beautiful molding, highlighting the old architectural details of the house. And no dining room is complete without a beautiful light fixture over the table. This Worlds Away fixture is incredible. It's bamboo inspired and the white is a wonderful contrast against the dark wall. So we want to do something special for everyone. And I know that the kitchen and the dining room and the bedroom, it's gonna mean a lot to, to everybody. But to Julia, she's special. And what she loves is princesses and pink and fairy tales. So I thought the best thing I could do for her was to write her very own fairy tale about her. And my buddy Mark Monroy, he's an amazing illustrator and uh, really he brought my words to life. Princess Julia's Rescue. Oh my gosh. Because it's, it's so really special. her heart and her spirit that, uh, that brought us here. You know, I think us being able to help her out a little, help the Callahans out, it helped us too. You know, it, it really did. So I was just thrilled to be involved with it. You ready? Come on in. You, you ready? Let's go. Here we go, deep breath. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, it's stunning. Surprise time. No way. Yes. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh god, it's gorgeous. If you or someone you know is in need of a rescue, visit us at georgetherescue.com to submit your story. Welcome home! George. Hey, and Julia! We were excited to see George, um, wondering what we were going to walk into. Deep breaths, deep breaths. All right. It was the feeling of uh, walking into a new house. You ready? Come on in. You, you ready? Let's go. Right. Welcome home. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. Oh, it's stunning. <laughs> wow. This is unbelievable. Wow, Julia wow. <laughs> Look. Walking into the dining room, my breath was taken away. It, I love the wallpaper. The way it came out, Just. beyond what we ever imagined. We're afraid to go in. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> you want me to take your coat We're so you guys can settle go. in? our new kitchen look we could mix it we could bake right here you want to make cookies i do you do a little bit more counter space a little more counter space and drawers lots of drawers and what's that thing under your hand right there oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dishwasher, dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> it's bright Spacious. Love the tile. Compliments her eyes. <laughs> um, I've never in my wildest dreams would have ever have imagined that e anything yeah. like this. Both my parents, my mom and dad, they deserve this. And just, you know, seeing them happy is really what makes us happy. So. Yeah. Daniel, Andrew, you guys are just unbelievable and uh, just, just who you are as, as sons, as brothers, as caretakers, just, we took a try at fixing up your bedroom a little bit, so uh, if you guys want to go check it out. Definitely. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you thank so you. much. This looks, Definitely. This yeah. looks awesome.
This is amazing. Yeah. You know, to have this new room completely turned around is mind blowing. It feels bigger, it's brighter, um, and there's just a better vibe to it now. I actually got one other surprise. We you know, obviously we did the kitchen and the dining room and room for your brothers and the family, but something special just for you. All right, I understand you're into princesses. Now, I'm not much of a writer, but I wrote this for you. It's called Princess Julia's Rescue. Wow. And that book is dedicated to you. Look, once upon a time in a kingdom in Maplewood. Look. Woo! Look. Yeah. Look, there lived a princess named... Julia. Julia. For George to take the time to write this story uh, for her is very endearing. Yeah, we're definitely showing it to all our family and friends. Having George to the rescue come and redo our kitchen space, our dining room, is life-changing. George, oh, we can't thank you enough, can't thank your crew enough. We welcomed you into our hearts and our lives, and it's spectacular, just spectacular what they did. The open space, you just want to share it with everybody and just, keep the doors open and... Yeah, we'll be cooking some big meals. <laughs> oh, for a small house, I just want to pack it <laughs> with people. <laughs>